Camarines Norte, Central Bicolano, Amianan na Camarines, Filipino, Hiligang Camarines, is a province located in the Bicol region in Luzon of the Philippines. Its capital is Daet. The province borders Quezon to the west, Camarines Sur to the south, and the Philippine Sea to the north. History In 1573, Bicol Province was founded. From Bicol, the province of Camarines was created in 1636, which was divided in 1829, creating Camarines Norte and Camarines Sur. They were briefly merged from 1854 to 1857 into Ambos Camarines Ambos is Spanish for both. They were merged into Ambos Camarines once again in 1893. The province was divided into Camarines Norte and Camarines Sur once again in 1917. When Camarines Norte was separated from Ambos Camarines in 1829, it was assigned the towns of Daet, as capital, Talase, Indan, now Vinzans, Labo, Paracal, Mambulao, now Jose Panganaban, Capilonga, Regay, Lupi, and Sipicot. Seventeen years later, it lost Sipicot, Lupi, and Regay to Camarines Sur in exchange for the town of Saruma. Spanish period Spanish conquistador Juan de Salcedo, dispatched by Legazpi to explore the island in 1571, influenced the existence of Camarines Norte. After subduing Taytay and Cainta, he marched further across Laguna and Tayabas. He visited the rich gold-laden town of Mambulao and Paracal, obsessed by them about which he heard from natives there of existing gold mines. When Francisco de Sande took over from Legazpi as governor-general, Spanish influence started to be felt in the region. He established a permanent Spanish garrison in Naga to control the region and defend it from Chinese and Muslim pirates. Capt. Pedro de Chávez was assigned to head this force. Native settlements, which include Mambulao and Paracal, were already thriving when the Spaniards arrived. Indan and Daet were the other settlements besides Capilonga. But Paracal remained the most sought after because of its gold mines, the towns were chiefly inhabited by Tagalogs, the rests were of a Scion strain. However, most of the immigrants were from Mauban, Quezon. The Spanish missionaries established missions to Christianize the natives. Daet Revolt April 14–17, 1898 – Local members of the Katipunan led by Ildefonso Moreno and other patriots staged an uprising against the Spanish authorities here who have fortified themselves in the house of one Florencio Arana, a Spanish merchant and a long-time resident of Daet. Sporadic encounters started on April 14 until April 16 when the rebels occupied Daet and surrounded the Spaniards in the house of Arana. But the Katipuneros failed to repulse the reinforcements which arrived in Barra now Mercedes, from Nueva Caceres on April 17. Said reinforcements broke the siege of Daet. This resulted in the death and or execution of many patriots, including Ildefonso Moreno, Tomás Zaldúa and his two sons, José Abaño, Domingo Lozada and Aniceto Gregorio, among others. While the Daet revolt collapsed, it signaled the start of a series of rebellion throughout the Bicol region. By virtue of Act 2809 of March 3, 1919, Governor General F. B. Harrison separated Camarines Norte from Camarines Sur with the installation of Don Miguel R. Lucban as its first governor. In functional sense, April 15, 1920, was the date of the organization of Camarines Norte, as directed by Executive Order No. 22 dated March 20, 1920, in conformity with the provisions of Act No. 2809. According to Serafin D. Quiasson, former chairman of the National Historical Institute NHI. First guerrilla encounter The first guerrilla encounter in the Philippines during the Second World War in the Pacific occurred on December 18, 1941 – 11 days after the Japanese bombing of Pearl Harbor in Hawaii on December 7, 1941 and 10 days after the attack on Clark Air Base in Pampanga on December 8, 1941 – Atlantidon, Basad, Camarines Norte when the Vinzans guerrilla group with some elements of USAFFE units engaged the vanguard of the Japanese Imperial Army advancing towards Daet, the capital town. 
A shrine was put up in Lanadan to mark this historic feat of arms while surviving veterans and the sons and daughters of veterans who fell commemorate this event every December 18 in Basid and Daet under the auspices of the Veterans Federation of the Philippines, Camarines Norte Chapter, VFPCN, Basid Municipal Government and the Provincial Government. Japanese occupation and liberation the established general headquarters and military camps and bases of the Philippine Commonwealth Army that was active during January 3, 1942 to June 30, 1946 and the Philippine Constabulary that was active during October 28, 1944 to June 30, 1946 was stationed in Camarines Norte and started the local military operations around the province with the aid of the Bicolano guerrilla fighters and U.S. Liberation Forces against the Imperial Japanese troops. The present local Filipino soldiers and military officers of the Commonwealth Army and Constabulary helped the Bicolano Freedom Fighters during the preparation for the counter-attacks against the occupation of the Japanese Imperial Forces that started their siege from 1942 to 1944 and 1945. With the aftermath of the almost three-year siege, the Bicolano guerrillas retreated away from the Japanese military's hands. The U.S. Liberation Forces returned to the county and liberated the province on 1945 with the help of the local Filipino troops and Bicolano guerrillas that was preparing to attack the Japanese Imperial Forces. It ended in World War II. Geography Camarines Norte covers a total area of 2320.07 square kilometers, 895.78 square miles, occupying the northwestern coast of the Bicol Peninsula in the southeastern section of Luzon. One of the six provinces comprising Region 5 Bicol, it is bounded on the northeast by the Philippine Sea, east by the San Miguel Bay, west by the Laman Bay, southwest by Quezon Province, and southeast by Camarines Sur. Its capital town, Daet, is 342 kilometers (213 miles) southeast of Metro Manila, an 8 to 10 hour drive by bus, 6 to 7 hour by private car, or a 45 minute trip by plane. Climate. Administrative divisions. Camarines Norte is subdivided into two legislative districts comprising a total of 12 municipalities. Provincial capital Demographics The population of Camarines Norte in the 2015 census was 583,313 people, with a density of 250 inhabitants per square kilometre or 650 inhabitants per square mile. Religion the majority of the population are followers of Roman Catholic Church with 93% of the population adherents, while the rest of the people's faith is divided by several Christian groups such as Aglipayan Church, Iglesia Ni Cristo, Inc., Baptists, Methodists, Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, Seventh-day Adventists, other Christians and also Muslims which demographic is mostly traced to Mindanao. Prior to colonization, the region had a complex religious system which involved various deities. Among these deities include, Gugurang, the supreme god who dwells inside of Mount Mayan where he guards and protects the sacred fire in which Aswang, his brother was trying to steal. Whenever people disobey his orders, wishes and commit numerous sins, he would cause Mount Mayan to burst lava as a sign of warning for people to mend their crooked ways. Ancient Bicolanos had a rite performed for him called Atang, Aswang, the evil god who always tried to steal the sacred fire of Mount Mayan from his brother, Gugurang. Addressed sometimes as Aswang, he dwells mainly inside Mount Malinao. As an evil god, he would cause the people to suffer misfortunes and commit sins. Enemy of Gugurang and a friend of Bulan the god of the moon, Halia, the masked goddess of the moonlight and the arch enemy of Bakunawa and protector of Bulan. Her cult is composed primarily of women. There is also a ritual dance named after her as it is performed to be a countermeasure against Bakunawa, Bulan, the god of the pale moon. He is depicted as a pubescent boy with uncommon comeliness that made savage beast and the vicious mermaids, Majindara tame. He has deep affection towards Majindong, but plays with him by running away so that Majindong would never catch him. The reason for this is because he is shy to the man that he loves. 
If Majindong manages to catch Bulan, Halia always comes to free him from Majindong's grip. Majindong, the god of the sea and all its creatures. He has deep affection to the lunar god Bulan and pursues him despite never catching him. Due to this, the Baikalanos reasoned that it is to why the waves rise to reach the moon when seen from the distant horizon. Whenever he does catch up to Bulan, Halia comes to rescue Bulan and free him immediately. Okat, god of forest and hunting, and Bakunawa, a gigantic sea serpent deity who is often considered as the cause of eclipses, the devourer of the sun and the moon, and an adversary of Halia as Bakunawa's main aim is to swallow Bulan, who Halia swore to protect for all of eternity. Language Coastal Bacol, Central Bacol variant, is the main dialect spoken in the province. Tagalog and English are also widely understood and are used in businesses and education. Economy The province's economy largely depends on agriculture, with grain crops, vegetables, coconuts, root crops and fruits as its main products. The four major manufacturing and processing industries in the province are mining particularly gold and iron ore, jewelry craft, pineapple and coconut industry. Infrastructure The province has an international seaport located at Barangay Osmeña, Jose Panganaban town servicing one of its major industries, Pan Century Surfactants. The seaport is approximately 5 kilometers (3.1 miles) from the town proper and an hour ride to the capital town of Daet. The province has 13 fishing ports in the coastal municipalities and one feeder airport in Bagasbas, Daet. Festivals and events. The Banteog Festival the Banteog Festival is a historical commemorating festival in Camarines Norte that features the first Rizal Monument which is also the centerpiece of the celebration held simultaneous with the foundation anniversary of the province. The Banteog Festival is also celebrated in each town of the province with their own festivals such as the Pinayasan in Daet, Palayogan from the root word Pele and Nayog in Sta. Elena, Babacasan in Benzones, Pabaric ng Bayan in Paracal Town, and the Mananap in San Vicente, Banteog Climb. The Banteog Climb is an annual event organized by Oriel Outdoor Group Inc. as part of the activities during Banteog Festival. The Pineapple Pinyasin, Festival Pinyasin Pineapple Festival showcases Camarines Norte's premier agri product, which is the sweetest pineapple called Formosa. Summer Surf Fest Annual Kiteboarding Competition Paragliding and Hang Gliding Towing Competition Gold Panning or Pabaric Festival The Pabaric Festival is a week-long celebration which commemorates the past culture, traditions, history and customs of Paracal considered as a gold town of Camarines Norte. A highlight of the Pabaric Festival gives emphasis on its rich mining industry while showcasing its gold products all of which are available in the municipality. Pabaric means pan, which is a medium used by the natives of Paracal in gold panning. Palong Festival The Palong Festival coincides with the Feast of the Black Nazarene and is celebrated through street dancing and an agro-industrial fair to which the natives express their gratitude for the abundance of ornamental plants known as rooster combs or Palong Manic. Kadagatan Festival the Kadagatan Festival is celebrated by fishermen to give respect, express gratitude and recognize Mother Nature for the vast marine resources the town of Mercedes are blessed with Busig on Festival The Busig on Festival is based on the epic of the hero Busig on who hails from Labo town and also of Baikalano values. The festival is a showcase of talent and skills in a competitive manner while showing the town's places of interest and featuring the town's unique historical values. Mambulawan Festival Held to coincide with the Feast of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, the festival aims to forge unity and cooperation among the local community, promote culture and arts, revitalization of mining industry, exposition of the town. Single quote, single quote. S. Best, homecoming and involvement of Balakbayans, all geared towards advancement and economic growth. 
Notable people from Camarines Norte See also List of Bicol region cities and municipalities References External links Media related to Camarines Norte at Wikimedia Commons Geographic data related to Camarines Norte at OpenStreetMap Official Camarines Norte website